Hey everybody, my name is Leah. I'm a flamenco and classical guitar teacher at Lesson Face, and today I'll be teaching you an easy finger style and arpeggio study that's based on flamenco guajira. Arpeggios are where we play the strings one at a time, each with a different finger. They're a very important part of classical, flamenco, and finger style technique. So you'll need to remember the abbreviations for the right hand fingers, if you don't know them already. P is thumb, I is index, M is middle, A is ring. Now today we're going to use three different kinds of arpeggios. We're going to use ascending arpeggios, where the thumb plays a bass string, index plays string three, middle plays string two, ring plays string one. Then you're going to see descending arpeggios, where the thumb plays a bass string, ring plays string one, middle two, index three. And then we're also going to use double arpeggios, where thumb plays string six, index three, middle two, ring one, middle two, index three. So just to review that, ascending arpeggios, P, I, M, A. Descending, P, A, M, I, and double. I, M, A, M, I. While our right hand fingers play arpeggios, we're going to use our left hand fingers to hold down the strings. Sometimes we're going to be holding down a common chord shape like E7 or A major. And we'll also see some less common shapes such as this version of E7 up the neck and this version of A, which is really an A6 chord. Anytime you run across a left hand shape or a chord change that is difficult or new, take some time to practice just the change or just the chord by itself without any right hand technique. The first half of the song uses double arpeggios and ascending arpeggios. So P, I, M, A, M, I, and P, I, M, A. Start by putting your first finger on string three fret one and play a double arpeggio with your thumb on string six. Now with your left hand, take your second finger, put it on string six fret two, ascending arpeggio. Move your second finger to string five fret two, and now play string five with your thumb. And you can just do like a light um, up strum with your index finger, or you can play strings one, two, three with A, M, and I. So whatever you prefer and then change to your A chord, three ascending arpeggios in a row with thumb on string five, four. Then repeat that idea. Now make your D chord, thumb plays string four and you play a double arpeggio. Thumb plays string five, ascending arpeggio. Thumb plays four, and fingers. And then same thing on the A chord that we did before. Five, four, four. All ascending arpeggios. Now E chord, same figure. Double arpeggio. And then thumb, fingers, and now make an A6 chord where you make your A chord this, this usual way with three fingers in a line and you put your pinky on string one fret two. Now your thumb is going to play string five, then string six, and then it's just going to strum through the rest of the strings. Now here's the first half of the song all together. Thank you. 
the second half of this piece is going to use double arpeggios, which you already know, and descending arpeggios, P, A, M, I. Our left hand shapes are going to be a little further up the neck. So start out with your third finger on string 3 fret 7, your first finger on string 4 fret 1, second finger string 5 fret 7. Play a double arpeggio, thumb play string 6. Thumb play string 5, descending arpeggio. Thumb plays 4 and fingers. Now take this shape, uh, which is kind of feels like a triangle or this D7 chord down the neck, keep it on the same frets, hop it down, one string. So your third finger is on string two, first finger string three, second finger string four. And your thumb is going to play string five, descending arpeggio. Same thing, thumb on string four. And again. Now repeat this idea. Double, descending, Keep your third finger where it is for the next part. Hop your second finger down to string 3, fret 7, and your first finger gets a little break. You're going to play a double arpeggio with the thumb on string 4. Thumb plays string 5, descending. Thumb plays 4, fingers. And now hop down to your old familiar A major chord. Thumb plays string 5, descending, thumb 4. And again, going to end with your first finger on string 3 fret 1, double, second finger goes to string 6 fret 2, you're going to do a descending arpeggio, hop your second finger down to string 5, thumb and fingers, and you're going to end the second half the same way you did the beginning. Now let's play the entire second half slowly. When you're ready, let's put the whole song together, a little bit faster, but still at a nice steady practice tempo. Four, five, six. is one example of the sort of music I teach in my Spanish fingerstyle guitar class, which is part of the Lesson Face Pass program. Each week we learn one new piece at an easy to intermediate level. I also teach pieces like these in flamenco group classes, and I usually have a flamenco group class either happening currently or coming up very soon, so please check out my Lesson Face profile to learn more and enroll, and I will see you in class.